Shabbat Shalom everyone. I'm going to continue the series of the fantastic Daf Yomi here on this Erev Shabbat Kodesh. And we are on Daf Nun Hei, that is page number 55 of Masechet Nazir today. And we see all about the beauty, the importance of living in Israel, the best country inside the world in today's Talmud, which is uh, very, very interesting. You can see the most gorgeous view right behind me here in this city of Bet Shemesh of all, all these incredible buildings in this uh, very, very Kadosh land, very, very holy land. And we learn the importance about it. We're talking about a Nazir over the last few days. A Nazir is someone that has to separate themselves from cutting and shaving their hair for a period, period of time from great products, i.e. wine or other great raisins, other great derivatives, and coming into contact with a dead body or corpse in some shape or form. And that's what we are speaking about today. There's a rabbinic, there, we were speaking about in the previous days, that uh, if someone comes in contact with a corpse or something, they'll become contaminated. And we'll have to maybe start this whole process of the Nizirut from the beginning all over again. However, there's some cases we learn inside the Mishnah, back in page 49, where someone, it will freeze this sort of uh, Nazi state, as the Talmud will relate. Say they were on... Uh, let's say for argument's sake, say they took a year in a zero ton and they were on five months, they will have to wait a week, get purified and then restart from the fifth month. So they won't have to start from scratch. They won't lose out. And one of the cases today, there's two different cases. When someone is traveling from outside Israel and they're going to Chutzaret, so wherever it might be in Canada, you're going to Mexico, or you're going to England or America, that automatically there'll be some form of contamination of tumat met, according to this thing, where someone, but in this sort of case, when someone is going to land somewhere else, or is going to even be on a flight somewhere else, he won't have to necessarily start the Nizurut from scratch. He will have again that suspension, that freezing, where he would wait, have to wait a week and get purified and continue the Nizurut from where he left off. Obviously, probably he would have to be back in Israel to start that again, or the rabbis will grapple with it. But we see the importance, the greatness of living in Israel. The rabbinic, the, the, uh, the rabbis made the decree about how important it is to live in Israel, that even going outside of Israel can bring contamination a person. And that's the greatness of being in our incredible land here, which Hashem has given us. Every Dalot Amot to walk here is a mitzvah here in this holy, precious land. And that's the greatness of uh, the land of Israel, the purification of it, the mitzvah of doing it. Everything that we should do, we should do here. Not just that the importance of living here and keeping the mitzvot here. There's many, many of the mitzvot, the 613 mitzvot, that are pertaining to living in Israel, but also... Unfortunately, the opposite is true. If God forbid someone is doing a lot of avirot, also how much more severe if it is done here in Israel. This is a place to be. Guys, if you're thinking of making a holiday, come to Israel, spend in Israel. You know, everything, advocate for Israel, especially if we're living outside, how great we are and everything else. And you know, that's one of the important duffs. I covered another duff which pertained to Israel back in Kuf Yud Aleph of Masechet Ketubot just before we completed the serum over there. But that's the greatness. Guys, have an awesome Shabbat, if you're listening uh, before this Shabbat, on this live day. And uh, guys, be blessed and have a fantastic day. Enjoy. Bye.